Hi everyone, I'm Blackie Wolf and I'm back with another developer tip. Today's tip for you aspiring developers, engineers, programmers, troubleshooters, or whatever you want to call yourself is practice makes perfect and I cannot stress that enough. Normally when you think of practice, you think of sports, you think of working out, but software development is a little bit different from jobs like accounting where not only do you need to learn through experience, but you also have to research and study and develop your skills yourself. It's essentially a type of craftsmanship where your IDEs are your workshop, your code is the labor you put in, and the application is the result that you want the world to see. And some of the best ways that you can actually practice your skills and develop them and get better is by implementing what are known as specifications. A specification is similar to a blueprint. It says this is how an application should work or this is how a system should operate. You can think of it as business rules that an application absolutely has to do. However, it doesn't tell you how to get to that point. You have to figure that out. You have to work through that yourself. Uh, a good example of this would be the OAuth 2 spec. OAuth 2 is a type of, um, well, it says it right here, is an open standard for access delegation. Um, GitHub has it, Facebook, Twitter, hundreds of thousands of websites use it in order to allow other applications to interoperate with their systems. A lot of the web makes use of this. So if you wanted to get better at a particular language, what you could do is you could come here, uh, go to this, this is the first specification, it's an RFC spec, uh, 6749. You'd come here, you would read through this specification, which is not small at all, and unfortunately they're not. You would read through this and attempt to implement it in the language of your choice. Uh, now, I've done something similar. I have implemented specifications before. What I actually ended up doing was um, something called the Atom XML spec. And I needed to do this. Where is the spec? Yeah, Atom syndication format. And the reason I needed to do this was because of Visual Studio. I was developing a private extension gallery for my uh, place of work. And Visual Studio has a place where you can add new extension libraries you want. Um, you just come, oh, whoops. So yeah, you just give it the URL and the name. So I made an API which was based off of this spec here. And it was fun, it was new. It was not easy because it was the first one I'd ever done. But essentially I made it so that you could add Visual Studio extensions to an API which other developers in the company could then get and install into their own Visual Studio instance. And just by implementing this specification I learned quite a bit about how to read specifications like this. And that's going to be very important in your career as a software developer because there may come a time when you need to implement a specification because there is no tool out there. For it. Or maybe you need to write a specification for your tooling so that it's consistent, reliable, dependable, and actually maintainable. It's a far easier to draw an outline like this than it is to try and uh, write code right off the bat. So you can think of these as concepts or blueprints. Another way you could do to practice would be to just find tutorials. Uh, a lot of common tutorials you'll come across would be a to-do tutorial, a to-do tutorial, and this one's pretty fun if you want to do it. There's lots of, for example, this is one with React. Uh, there's one with Xamarin. I'm sure there's one with PHP. To-do list, yeah. So. You get the idea. Make sure to hone your skills. If you're serious about this, I recommend setting aside 30 minutes every day to look at it. That's about how much, at least how much time I spend coding every day. And at the very least, it kind of keeps my skills sharp and up to date. So yeah, I hope you found this tip useful. I know it's a bit obvious, but sometimes we just forget to put in the time and effort necessary to improve our skills. And it's nice to be reminded of it. So if you like my videos, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.